Missouri, and then you get the call that you're a draft pick of the World Champions. What what rang through your head when, when you got that call? Um, I was I was speechless. You know, it was uh, probably the greatest day I've had, and um, to be a part of this off season and to see what they're about and to see what we're about to embark in this season. Um, you know, it's very, it's very, uh, I guess, exciting and, you know, I'm blown away by it. But, uh, you know, it's been a smooth transition and, you know, I've come out here and just put in my work trying to do the best I can be. You were talking about the difference between college and the pro, everything's so much faster, the guys are bigger, and uh, there's a lot expected out of you because you're pretty high in draft. Yeah. What, what's the one thing that, that you know, as you approach your first preseason game, that you want to take into it and, and then maybe take out of it? Um, I just want to go in there and do what we've been taught. Um, you know, Denver is going to be a great team. You know, we expect that, but um, just like we should, we're going to go in there and do what we've taught. And, um, do what we can control and just worry about us. Coach Harold's mantra is always compete, 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 compete. That's what you see every day. And uh, you've got a chance to start. Uh, what does that feel like? Um, it's, it's amazing. You know, it's a dream come true. And, um, but uh, with that being said, I still have a lot to work on. I still have a lot to improve. I'm not there yet. I'm not close to where I can be. So. Um, the good thing is I have room to improve and every day I'm getting better so I'm going to come out here with goals and um, do the best I can to reach those goals and going against the best defense, uh, you know, really makes it even better. That was my next question. You're going to go against Brandon Neva and you're going to go against Cliff Averill and, and guys like that and, and Michael Bennett. So that's got to make you learn a lot real quick. Yeah, you see a variety of different things and, um, you know, different pass rushes and, uh, you know, I've been kind of leaning on Cliff to you know, learn some things that he sees me doing and what I can do better and what he's seen throughout his years. So he's been kind of a mentor behind the scenes on trying to help me become a better tackle because ultimately, you know, like he says, me becoming better will make him better. You know, on the flip side, you get to learn from guys like uh, Matt Sunder and Russell Cook at the same time. Yeah, you know, they're great guys, great mentors. Um, you know, I worked a lot with... Uh, Russell in the offseason and, you know, um, on technique and the playbook and, you know, Max has been a lot of help. You know, Lem, Lemuel has uh, really helped me through this offseason. He's probably been the most helpful for me. Um, but uh, working with JR is, you know, it's amazing and, uh, you know, he's, he's fast, so, mm -hmm. you know, everything I do has to be quicker. Now, what do you think of this? I mean, the fans come out and watch practice. I mean, this isn't even... I, you know, one percent of what you're going to hear when you hit ceiling. What, what do you think of this atmosphere where the fans come out to see you, and uh, what are you looking forward to when you do get to see something like this? Um, I'm excited. I'm really excited. You know, I have a lot of fan base out this year, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm focused on Denver. Yeah. Of course, I'm focused on Denver, but uh, you know, I'm excited for something like this.